Now, a lot of people been talking about her writing process. I ain't never. So she does that without the beat? Song was gonna come in. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Put me on it. When you sleep, if you if you're ever dreaming, is she laying in the bed? so common oh my god i think uh for me it was just i got immediate melodies in my head and just started like got my guitar and called up jack antonoff and said let's write a song and jacket and then um i don't know like i think come I on jacket verse first where i was like i was like oh that pick's still in there isn't it <laughs> hit the ground hit the ground hit the ground oh oh only sound only sound that you hear like and then you when you're writing it you kind of you'll you'll know what the mel what melody you want so it'll start with like hit the ground na, 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 oh, oh, na, 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 and then you fill in the blanks like you're filling in a crossword that really sounds like jacket like, you, like you'll fill it in as you go and <laughs> decide the come on jack is it first and then you'll the song kind of takes shape on its own sometimes and, and that was how, how it happened with this song it just, what did you have in your mind was it the title was it a lyric was it a melody it was not um it was it was can i go where you go can we always be this close she, she was crying for us to be these like really simple existential questions that we ask ourselves when we're in love can i go where you go is such a heavy thing to ask somebody um can can we always be this close has so much fear in it um but so does love I had this what? metaphor in my head about like being in this house oh, that's and super young, Taylor. there's been a drought but you feel like there's a storm coming and so instead of trying to block out the storm you like punch a hole in the roof and just let all the rain come in and when you wake up in the morning it's washed away everything damn to hurt that was you. deep and then you're clean opening wait the what album with the words i'm doing good i'm on some new shit and saying yes instead of no it applies to the situation that the song is written about where you know you're updating a former lover on what your life is like now and trying to be positive about it. But it was also where, huh. where I am creatively, where it's like, I'm just saying yes, I'm just putting out an album in the worst time you could put one yeah. out. I liked opening the album right. with that because I loved the feeling that I got immediately upon hearing the instrumental that Aaron created for it. It's Aaron. strangely, I say witchy and I stand by that. It felt like huh. somebody standing over a potion. Mr. No Emotion. Potion, Dreaming up the person that they want and the person they desire and trying to figure out how to get that person in their life and all the Bro, kind of misdirection and complexity that goes this girl into is like truly talented seeing someone feeling a connection wanting them it felt a bit magical I mean I know y'all know that but what I wanted she's to amazing feel going into an album that was it's a collection crazy. of these stories 